Hey everyone, this is Emily from BurlapKitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute American flag hanger using a few supplies that I had laying around my craft room. So the first thing I did was I cut down this board to the size that I wanted. This board I believe is a 1x7 and I want to say it's about 17 inches long. Just eyeball it the size that you want to use for your flag. So after I got that cut down, then I painted the entire flag um, with my white apple barrel paint and dried it really good with my blow dryer. Once it was dry, I took some masking tape and I just sort of outlined a flag pattern onto the board. Outlining the flag pattern to the board was probably the most time consuming part of this entire project. I wanted to try and make sure that I got my lines as straight as possible and everyone who knows me knows that I definitely struggle with getting things straight and even. Once I got that done, then I put some red apple barrel paint into a little dish and then I began to just paint the flag red. When you're doing this, just make sure that you don't get any red over into the top square part where the flag is going to be blue. You don't want to get any red paint over in that area. We're almost finished. Okay, then I'm just going to blow dry this so it's nice and dry. You definitely want to make sure it's dry um, before you take off your tape and before you add more tape or paint to this project. So I just took off all of the paint and now I'm just going to re-tape the blue part because I want that to, when I paint it blue, I want to make sure that it is bucked up against the, the red flag. If not, there will be a gap between the blue box and the red and white stripes and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just using, I wish I had a darker blue and a darker red, but I'm just using some supplies that I have on hand for this craft. So I'm almost done painting. And as soon as I'm done painting, I'm just going to take the blow dryer and I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and dry before I move on. I'm then going to paint my star. I actually should have painted my star first when I painted the entire flag white. I should have, I should have painted my star then. But I goofed up a little bit. So I'm just going to paint that white right now. And now I'm going to take my sanding block over this entire project. I really like the grunge look, so I'm going to scuff this up pretty good. You have to put some muscle into it when you do this. The sanding block that I'm using came from the Dollar Tree. They're amazing to keep on hand for crafting. I'm just going to brush, I brushed off the excess sawdust from from sanding and I'm gonna sand my star as well. Now that everything is sanded down good and I brushed all the excess dust off, I'm now gonna apply a coat of the Waverly Antiquing Wax to this project. I like to dip it into the wax and then brush some off and then brush it on. If not, sometimes you can get your project way too dark and we don't wanna ruin our project. Using a rag will help to ensure that the stain is spread evenly throughout your whole project. I also stained, did the same thing with the star and stained that as well. I know you can't really see that good, I kind of goofed up on the camera there. Then I'm going to take my drill and I'm just going to drill a hole in the corner. This is going to, this is how we're going to hang it. I used a piece of tape to just kind of measure up the hole so I got them nice and even. And then I'm just going to drill another hole. Then I'm going to take some old rusty wire that I had laying in my garage and I'm going to use that to hang this project. So I just stuffed it through, I stuffed the wire through so it came out the front on both sides. I 
I had to trim it down just a little bit. I then used a pencil to just curl those wire edges under. And guys, be careful when you're doing this. The wire is really sharp and I wouldn't want you to cut yourselves. I know I almost did a few times. So the next thing I'm going to do, it, I know you're not going to be able to see this real well, but I did take a bunch of hot glue and glued it to the back of my star and I just glued that right in the middle of my blue square. And that's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this simple DIY. And for more DIYs like this, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you. Bye.